ACIM Insights Lesson 336 Forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. This lesson is making it explicitly clear that peace of mind can only be found by looking within. No amount of looking to external circumstances will bring me peace. The ego tells us that if we just have the right relationship or live in the right house or have the right job or if our co-workers behave differently, then we could be at peace. This lesson is telling us not only that we won't find peace there, but to find peace we must forgive. This means we need to let go of our judgments about relationships, co-workers, jobs and houses. Perceptions can serve a helpful purpose in this world if we turn them over to the Holy Spirit, for Him to use for His purpose. He will use perception to teach us to learn to look beyond it. He will help us learn to let go of judgment, for it is judgment that keeps us feeling separate and alone. This forgiveness is done in quiet because the Holy Spirit's vision is received in quiet. Conflict is a symptom of judgment. When we experience tension, discomfort, frustration, resentment, even a minor irritation, it is a sign that we need to return to peace, return to the quiet place in our mind and receive the Holy Spirit's vision. He will show us what unifies us, the love that lies beyond the seemingly separate forms. He will show us the innocence. Today I will be mindful of my thoughts and feelings, being alert to any disturbance of my peace of mind. I commit to taking each disturbance to the Holy Spirit. He will take it willingly, for He has a grand gift to give me in return. He offers me the peace of God. I need but give Him my thoughts of judgment, my calls for love, and He will answer by showing me the love that God placed in my heart, myself. Forgiveness lets me know that minds are joined. Everything I see with my body's eyes is a distortion of the truth. What I see through the body's eyes is separation, individuality, differences, each thing separate and alone. What I see through the body's eyes is not the truth. Believing in these distortions comes with joining with the ego. I have joined with the ego and have thought that the distortions were real. I am now in the process of awakening to the truth. I do this through joining with the Holy Spirit in my mind. It is the Holy Spirit that shows me that the distortions are unreal. It is with the Holy Spirit that I learn to see past bodies, to recognize that we all come from the one mind, and we have not left that mind. It is the Holy Spirit that brings me to the altar of truth. By remembering that I do not know what anything means on my own, I am then open to Holy Spirit's gentle correction. I am then open to the new perception. The Holy Spirit shows me where I have been thinking wrongly and returns my mind to oneness. The Holy Spirit reminds me that separate bodies with separate minds could never be real. The Holy Spirit reminds me that these images are just hallucinations coming from the ego thought system. The Holy Spirit shows me how to unplug from the ego thought system. The Holy Spirit shows me how to not take it so seriously. The Holy Spirit shows me how to be truly helpful in every situation where I am led. The Holy Spirit is my constant companion helping me awaken to the truth when I lose my way. The Holy Spirit leads me to the peace of God.